Hey there and welcome to No Recipe Required. Today we're going to do uh, some chili for you. We're going to learn how to make a, uh, a fantastic chicken chili this time. If, uh, if beef is not your thing or if you're looking to cut out calories, it's, uh, you know, it's like 20% less calories. If you go chicken versus beef, you still get um, lots of great flavor if you use the right techniques. We obviously got to cook the chicken right. We've got to get lots of spices in there. We'll throw in some other flavorings along the way. This is basically um, pretty a, a pretty core recipe that you can also you know, throw some extra vegetables in there. Chili is really make of it what you want, you know? But we do want to make sure we treat the flavors, the ingredients right, we layer things up properly, we taste as we go. So I'm going to show you how to do it, this time with a, uh, a few pounds of chicken. I'm going to make a huge, huge pot because uh, it freezes really well. I throw the extra in the freezer, take it out. We're going to make like, I don't know, 30 meals worth of, uh, worth of chili in one go here. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, guys, we're going to jump right in here with our chicken. This is about um, four pounds of ground chicken that I just threw into the um, into the pot here over medium heat. And you do want to move it around a lot because it tends to like stick together. It's a big kind of meatball. So get in there with a, a big wooden spoon, break it all up, and we're going to cook it all the way through until, we until where there's uh, no more pink to be seen. All right, so our chicken is cooked through. No more, uh, no more pink at all. We're just gonna go ahead and take this out of the pan, uh, drain the fat off, and then we're gonna come back and add some veggies. Okay, so I put a ton of veggies in my uh, in my chilies, and this is no exception. This is four or five carrots that I've shredded finely. Some celery. This is again kind of five or six uh, stalks of celery chopped up pretty finely. I like to shred these carrots uh, fine because they they're kind of tough, and I want them um, I want them to almost dissolve into the um, into the chili. A little bit of olive oil. Pan is on kind of medium heat right now. Um, olive oil just to coat. I've got some onions. This is uh, this is two really kind of super large onions that I've chopped up finely as well. You want kind of as much onion as you do combined carrot and celery, and those are all going to come together. The other vegetables. I've got some green peppers here. Green peppers are, are nice. I like to use chili peppers if you can if you can get them. Um, I've got red peppers, kind of equal parts, red par red pepper to uh, to green pepper. And then the seven or eight garlic cloves that I just chopped finely. And um, I'm going to just throw all this in the pot. Now, if you, if you look at all this vegetable, this is this is as much vegetable as we had in here in terms of um, in, in terms of chicken. And um, that, you know, that's a good, good way to sneak in the vegetables on the kids. You want to make sure you salt. As you go, um, that was three or four kind of large pinches. We get some uh, get some pepper in there as well, and we're just going to cook these over medium high heat for 15, 20 minutes until everything is reduced and uh, and a little bit soft. Okay, so you can see after 15, 20 minutes or so, our vegetables are are kind of way cooked down. This is about half the volume that they were before. The onions are translucent. Everything else in there is kind of softened up, and that flavor is now you know it's extracted and ready to give up to um, to the chili. Um, so now it's time to add our primary spices. I use two big ones in basically all my chili. First one here is chili powder, obvious, right? Measuring very, very carefully, obviously. This is uh, this is like four or five kind of heaping tablespoons. And then we're gonna do about the same amount of cumin, which is, um, again, one of my all-time favorite spices. Big heaping pile in there. The other one we go big with is uh, smoked paprika, which I used by accident, actually, in, you know, a year or so ago. And um, that smoked flavor in there was actually absolutely wonderful. I really enjoyed it. So it's it's become part of my um, part of my normal repertoire. And then the um, the final one we're going to use in here is just a little bit of um, coriander, um, which I did love the flavor that that brings to the party as well. I add them now, add these spices now, so that they can just kind of cook a little bit on on this relatively dry heat, extract the flavor. We're going to come back in just a few minutes. Okay, so our toast, our spices now have toasted in here. You can see how red and dark and rich this uh, these vegetables are. We're going to add back our chicken. This is our cooked chicken, and um, you got to just pull it back into the pan. It's, it tends to kind of clump up a little bit as it uh, as it sits there. Don't worry too much about it. We already broke it up as we were cooking that, and um, as we cook the chili and stir it in, it's going to break up on us um, into nice little pieces. So you know, don't 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 worry too much about that. The other thing we're going to add is our tomatoes here. Um, I've got a this is a thirty ounce can of crushed tomatoes. You know that kind of sauce, and then it's a thirty ounces of fire roasted tomatoes as well. 
I really love those fire roasted tomatoes. They kind of give a, a an additional layer of flavor. Again, this chili is all about layering flavors. I'm going to pour this in. I got chicken stock around here somewhere. I'm going to go grab it, and then we're going to add it to the uh, to the pot. All right, so I found my chicken stock, and we're just going to add this into our um, into our meat, our tomatoes, our vegetables. And um, the idea is to get it, you know, fairly loose, not not soup consistency, right? But you you want enough to be able to stir it around. This this might be enough. I might might end up with a little bit uh, more. Might grab another little bit of chicken stock and throw it in here. Most important thing, you want to get everything kind of stirred up. All those vegetables are down in the bottom. You want to get them incorporated with the meat. You want to get them incorporated with the tomatoes. All that together. And um, you yeah, know, this is this is essentially done, right? Um, not done ready to eat, but there's not a lot of ingredients, not left to do here. We do need to salt. We didn't salt the meat as we uh, as we cooked it. We did the vegetables, but you got to salt and pepper as you go. So let's hit it with a little bit of both. If um, if you're, you know, if it's too dry, again, add a little bit more chicken stock, add a beer, add some wine, add kind of whatever you want. At the end of the day, we now have to just kind of cover this let it simmer for you know four or five hours, and that's where all these ingredients are going to become friends in the pot and get nice and incorporated, nice and soft, blended together into a cohesive, beautiful, delicious chili. So I'm just going to bring it up to a simmer, throw a cover on it, and then um, you know stir it maybe every half an hour. All right, guys. So my chili has been going now for like three hours, and just take a look at it. You can see how uh, how much melded together or more melded together it is now. It looks like a chili, right? Um, everything is uh, everything's the same color. You still got different textures in here. You could uh, you could actually you could just serve this now um, if you want to do, uh, if you want to eat it now. I like a little bit of bean in my in my chili, um, and I'm using a mix here. You can check out. I got some kidney beans. I got some pinto beans. I got some black beans. Um, roughly equal black pinto, one can of kidney beans, but use whatever portion you want. I, I happen to like a lot of beans. My, my, I don't know that my wife likes a lot of beans in there, but it's what, it's what, it's what I'm doing today. Um, I like to add the beans about an hour to an hour and a half before I'm ready to serve. Again, lets them soften up, lets them get into the chili, gives them another, uh, gives the chili another texture component. And then actually, as they break down, you can thicken the chili a little bit. So I'm just going to take these, I'm going to put the cover back on, make sure they're incorporated, cover back on, simmer for another hour to an hour and a half. All right, so I cooked our beans for like an hour and a half or so, and then, um, I took the lid off. Um, this is all just about evaporation and trying to get it to the right thickness that you want. Uh, you know, the longer you cook it uncovered, the more it's going to thicken up. Then um, once we get it here, you just want to take a little taste. Uh, make sure you got the seasoning right. Anything you want to add, do it now. I think this one's good, so let's go serve it up. All right, so here we've got our chicken chili laid out. I've got a little bit of sour cream I just put in a Ziploc bag, cut the tip of the, uh, of the bag off there and made essentially a little piping bag. I like my chili with a little bit of sour cream on there as a garnish. And then the other thing I'm going to do, this is some of the um, red bell pepper, green pepper, and onion that we chopped up earlier. It's raw. I just saved a little bit. And we'll throw a nice little dollop right on top. Gives it a little um, you know, crunch and flavor and freshness to it. Even toss these a little bit of vinegar, which is nice. It gives a nice little uh, little bite. And there we go with our chicken chili. It's absolutely spectacular. Give it a try. Let me know how it goes. All right, so that was my chicken chili. Actually, really easy to make. It takes a long time, but you know, most of that time, you're just watching it cook on the stove. Give it a try. Let me know how it goes. Leave a comment. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you next time on No Recipe Required.